Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between MTW the Muslim versus Insolence here on Scrap Station. We and the Muslim spawning here at the 3 o'clock position as the Red Terran player. Meanwhile, Insolence spawned here at the 12 o'clock position as the Blue Protoss. So this is going to be Protoss versus Terran here on Scrap Station. Now on Scrap Station, I generally I believe that there's going to be a lot of early airplay just because of the flying the close flying distances between these two locations so if you notice the walking distance you have to go all the way down past this one zonaga watchtower and then all the way back up once again and that does take quite a while the muslim throwing down a standard 10 supply depot meanwhile the probe of insulin is throwing down a pylon and hiding that pylon over here um, very interesting positioning on this pylon. That's more of a positioning that you would see coming in against a Zerg player if you wanted to make the Zerg player believe that you're going for some sort of proxy play or going for proxy play. Back over here, the Muslim now finishing off the supply depot, going to throw down a barracks in just a moment and this game will get underway. Insolence most likely going to wait, yeah, for that 12 gateway. Going to wait a little bit of time before training up that probe and then continue to chrono boost it once again. So this gateway, a little out of position here. However, the scouting um, SCV of the Muslim when he comes in should be able to find it fairly quickly. Um, as long as he um, just doesn't hang around over here on the map and actually heads over here to the north side, it will make a difference. SCV now moving out by the Muslim. The Muslim wanting to make sure that there is no proxy play. Proxy play is in fact very popular on this map just because of this very very dark area at the natural expansion so now we see that this scv now making its way out making sure that there is no pylon over here either making sure that there's no pylon in this position and then perhaps a gateway being powered outside of that brush over there so back over here we now see a probe now wandering around the inside of the base we do have one barracks up and we have an sc a marine now being trained out of there and also we have a cybernetics core insolence I'm getting one ga one assimilator so far. We may see a double assimilator, and double assimilator would indicate to me that it is going to be um, perhaps void ray play or just a robotics facility for observers and a, and a push with a three gate. The probe now still hanging around over here, now patrolling. There is one marine on that high ground, and now in comes this SCV. SCV will be, will come in here and quickly see that there is no real buildings here. However, no no units pulled off in order to try to take down that SCV. So the SCV will quickly find that there is a gateway and a cybernetics core and now this assimilator should get some additional probes on it in just a moment there we go only two probes out of the three so it's not fully saturated just quite yet the muslim however now going for reactor play and all of this off of one refinery so far so we should be seeing a factory in just a moment as this scv continues to wander around inside this map here so the muslim trying to get as much information as he can will he be able to and um, perhaps get some scouting in and and throw up a very very strong counter we already see a second barracks now being thrown down by the muslim so the muslim going for a mass barracks instead and now may try to push out with mass marines there are two marines here two marines quickly see this probe however that probe now able to push out and oh the marines completely bypassing that probe nicely done so the muslim does not know where this probe went this was an actual brilliant play to come into here and then come back around and um, i need to make sure that I am set to busy so that no one else continues to talk to me. But however, these Marines will be able to come up this ramp in just a moment. Probe trying to pull away, but it, however, it will not work as this probe will get scouted out in just a moment. Marines trying to make their way over. We'll see this probe there. So the probe has been spotted and down it goes. Back here, we do see a robotics facility and a second gateway now being um, warped in as well. So Insolence now getting two gate with a robotics facility will get some early observers. Uh, however, the probe was unable to head off into this base so far. So um, Insolence does not know exactly what the Muslim strategy is. He only saw one barracks, does not see the other barracks with the tech lab, now researching STEM, and we now have a factory coming into play as well. We do see two um, refineries now up, so with double refineries, we may see a starport with Banshee play. It, it would work out fairly well. He does have double gas now, and then trying to get additional starports will work out. He can try to do a marine push, marine and banshee push. However, it looks as though he's going to go 
and for a medevac drop so you can already see the reactor now being placed down the reactor takes 50 units of time to build the starport only takes 50 as well so that's the reason why a factory can do a reactor swap so easily with that starport and now as more marines get trained up and out of this barracks and this barracks over here with an additional marauder as well what this is going to allow the muslim to do is get a, a very very fast dps army very quickly you can see that the stim pack is nearing completion only needs about what 50 uh, 50 more units of time however an observer coming in from in insulin so insulin will be able to see this and now sees that there is a reactor up you're gonna have that reactor swap there in comes this one observer so the observer now gaining sight no missile turrets so with no missile turrets in this base and um, this observer will be able to gain sight for quite some time as the orbital command no longer um, are still calling down mules marines now moving out so this observer is still going to be sitting in that position for quite some time army wise we see 900 for the muslim insulin sitting at 650 however he does have a good amount of sentries so those sentries will be able to drop force fields and that guardian shield and now in come these sentries and these stalkers to try to push back that factory factory now trying to get some sight however will take some damage will not get within that burning damage and now marines making their way over to the destructible rocks not even bothering to try to do a drop now just going to make and take down these rocks and try to and walk very quickly between these two locations you see a lot of observers in place so two observers in play along with four sentries and now chrono boosting the warp gate in order to and speed up the cooldown once again and more sentries still being warped in marines and marauders now trying to take down these destructible rocks these will get taken down as more marauders joining in on this fight production wise we now see the combat shield being researched and a command center being placed down at the natural expansion and sentries and sentries and stalkers may be able to push out no not going to engage just quite yet there is one observer there and no the in comes one force field trying to make a more narrow choke point these marines and marauders need to be careful to make sure they're not going to get split in half if their army gets split between one side and another even with that medevac it will be a difficult micro to try to stay within this game we do have one scanner sweep revealing and now no guardian shield so a little confused about why there isn't any guardian shield and now forcing an engagement here marauder is unable to engage however the army of insolence is way too small to stop this marine marauder push so more zealots now coming in another guardian shield being thrown up and adding two armor to all of these range attacks and now these units being forced to pull back once again onto this high ground more zealots now being warped in as well marines and marauders continuing to push sentries may try to do uh, may try to get a force field and try to stop these medevacs from any other play however these marines and marauders do not have any medevacs close to them so that's a lot of damage that needs to be healed across those units however insolence now uh, retreating with these zealots and now stalkers and sentries once again going to re-engage are the probes going to come off the mineral line and be able to do anything else so stalkers now trying to push in we do have more zealots now being warped in as well probes making their way and down goes one marauder and a quick pickup there so a hot pickup of what and we have eight unit or eight supply in one medevac another one supply in this medevac as well the stalkers were not in this position to try to take them to try to shoot down these units and now all of these marauders and marines will be able to once again re-stim and deal damage over here so insolence needs to re-engage however there is still one observer here and now transferring some scvs at the natural expansion the muslim just simply schooling insolence in this stage of the game this nexus will get taken down and now more and more units now being macroed up we do have more observers no there's too many observers and not enough of immortals at this stage not quite sure why the, the main army now pushing is mainly consisting of three marauders and what three marines so that will be very effective however now marines and marauders dropping in on the back side of the base Sentry is now coming in once again, doing another hot pickup there. So two, um, what, four medevacs just simply tearing apart and uh, fighting in two separate locations. The insolence having difficulty trying to deal with the split attack. So medevacs over here um, to the east and now medevacs and mar marines marauders to the south. And once they get just gather themselves together and push out once again, it will be very difficult to stop them. One observer is still gaining sight. The Muslim now throwing down two additional supply depots. You see that he is currently supply locked at 86 over 86. However, insulin supply locked at 58 over 50 and still supply locked at this time. Needs to get some additional pylons and also going for that Twilight Council. Twilight Council for Zealot, Charge, and Stalker Blink. However, this front door now composing of four medevacs and a lot of marines pushing out. Once again, level one weapons upgrade. Marines and marauders stimming, able to take down a lot of these units. Zealots do not have charge. Once again, the income of force field, and that force field is actually going to hurt insolence as insolence walks in a single file line right here. More, more, more zealots now engaging. However, the zealots are not a strong counter. A great pickup by the Muslim. So the Muslim 
picking up those units that were vulnerable to the front and now once again those force fields hurting insolence as these armies just continue to push back and forth down no zealot down to one hit point there it goes and now in comes another force field splitting this army and attack once again the, these medevacs pulling back in order to drop back onto this low ground these medevacs are fairly low on energy only 40 to 40 energy on the most on one of them and that is essentially it these marines and marauders however are full on life so another stim charge will be very effective templar archives now being built as well but i do not think it will be finished in time army wise 3200 versus 1175 as soon as this another engagement comes here and another drop coming in from the back so the muslim using six medevacs now units being forced to pull to the back as soon as they see them another front door push however these medevacs are not going to pick up these units here not quite sure why these medevacs need to pick up these units and, it, and perhaps try to push out once again the two medevacs now hanging back over here zealots on the low ground marines and marauders fighting and insolence says gg so a great game between the Muslim and Insolence here on Scrap Station. The Muslim just using um, these Marine Marauder Medevac very effectively. Insolence needed to get Templars. That's, and that's one of the things when you see a Terran opponent, especially if you see a Terran opponent early get a reactor, you need to get Templars. If you don't get those Templars, you will not be able to deal with the Marine Marauder onslaught, especially with the great play that the Muslim did with those medevacs attacking at the front door and at the back of the base near this mineral line consistently. One of the things that I've, I've noticed is that the Muslim or a lot of these replays recently have been saying, go ahead and check out sc2replays.net. That is not actually being said by the players. The, uh, the website is actually able to get a hold of those replays and then inject that text so that it looks like it is said by a player to go ahead and check out that website. I don't think I've ever actually seen a, a professional player uh, promote their own um, promote a website just quite yet. Maybe TLO likes to promote his Facebook, but that's essentially it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Insolence and the Muslim here on Scrap Station.